Yeah, good morning, everyone. Uh, we're off to a nice, quiet start. It's uh, hazy and warm out there again, but we don't expect any precipitation for the Wednesday morning commute. 69 in Columbia, at 65 in Emmitsburg, 64 in Frederick. Uh, the cooler temperatures off to the west. 67 degrees in Cockeysville at the top of the hour. Again, we're shooting for a high temperature in the low 90s today. Some uh, high thin clouds starting to show up here on the satellite. There's a disturbance in the upper levels of the atmosphere. It's not really an area of low pressure, but a little piece of energy out in the mountains trying to produce some showers in the panhandle of West Virginia. That's all going to stay west of us, but as that energy moves south and east, there is a chance that we could see some scattered thunderstorms develop around Baltimore later on this afternoon in the heat and humidity. It still only put a 30% chance on it, but that's a little better chance for rain, I think, uh, than yesterday. Relief's going to come with this front here that's dropping down out of the uh, New England states. You can see how the temperatures drop off behind this boundary. It's 73 here in Baltimore, 56 in Caribou, Maine. So the winds are going to shift to the east after that front goes by, but that's not going to happen until Friday. And with that east wind, we'll set up a cooler start to the holiday weekend. Today it's still going to be hot though. A mixture of sunshine and clouds, that chance for an afternoon thunderstorm. The high temperatures will be in the low 90s this afternoon. If you're going to take the boat out today, variable winds at 10 knots, wave heights near one foot. The next high tide of Fort McHenry is at 952. Seven day forecast, still hot tomorrow. The high temperature near 91 on Thursday. The front comes through on Friday. Some scattered showers and thunderstorms, and then we should set up for a pretty nice holiday weekend. I think it'll be mostly dry and cooler with high temperatures in the low to mid 80s.